Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout for Lottie Loves Paper. Um, it's my final one using Coffee and Friends by Echo Park Paper uh, because in this layout I use it all up. <laughs> There's literally nothing left. Uh, so I have a funny story to tell about um, coffee today um, and that is that my little boy who is not so little anymore, he's nearly eight, um, he calls Starbucks coffee Starbucks. Starbucks every time. Daddy, you've been out for Starbucks. <laughs> and every time it absolutely cracks us up. So I have a photo of my husband with his coffee and my son um, having just said, Daddy, have you got a Starbucks coffee? Um, and um, I just thought that I would uh, document that funny little story. So um, I thought I would recreate a Starbucks cup. Um, and I have uh, cut a cut file um, from one that I used last time. So this is um, the like you a latte cut file by um, Pear Tree Cut Files um, but I'm only using the cup um, and I've scaled it down and I've removed the heart from the middle um, so then I have backed it the lid with silver the main cup with uh, just white vellum and then the little cup holder around the middle I've backed in craft because that's what color is the Starbucks coffees are um, and then the logo um, I actually manipulated the Starbucks logo um, and it re now reads Starbucks um, on the actual logo um, so I just printed that on my just on some white card um, at home and uh, cut that out and I've stuck that on top of the coffee cup so I have my customized cute little um, Starbucks uh, coffee cup there um, and I have the photo of course so um, I have now got to decide what to do with the rest of the layout I have this photo which is big I don't normally scrap this big I normally stick with smaller ones but it was a single photo that I wanted to print and um, uh, therefore I decided to print it as a full size rather than a half size um, and uh, I regret that because it's a bit too big for my layout but it ends up looking fine I just struggled a bit to begin with with the arrangement um, so I have I had some fussy cutting um, left to do so I had some papers with some flowers on so I spent some time fussy cutting um, all of the flowers I had left uh, from this collection um, and um, I also have uh, this large piece of paper well when I say it's large it's not really um, it's got a large area um, that I've cut from already um, it's got coffee cups on the back um, and there was a bit that hadn't been used yet so I've trimmed that out and I've kept the frame intact although you may have noticed earlier that actually I ripped it by accident so I had to tape it back together but thankfully you would never notice I can't even see the joint on it and I'm looking at the layout right now um, so that's going to be my border to go around the edge of my layout and I decided to go pink I thought I'd go for a pink background soft basil pinks my favorite one of my favorite color basil um, papers or card uh, it's called tutu pink it's really pale uh, pink and if I'm not going to use a white background um, this is normally the one that I would reach for um, so um, I've got a pink cardstock backed onto the kind of corally pink frame uh, from that leftover piece of paper um, and um, I've trimmed out the middle of that paper as well so there you go so that I can use some of the coffee cups um, elsewhere um, and also I can use the other piece of paper that I um, trimmed out too um, so I have um, I, this border was extremely narrow in places so when I taped it together um, I actually had sticky coming through on the back so I've just put some regular tape um, over the top of the sticky parts um, so that it doesn't stick to my table and more importantly it doesn't stick to my layout some other layouts when I put it on top of another layout at some point so um, that's what I was doing there so okay now I have my background in place um, I've got my photo I've just mounted it onto a piece of black and white gingham um, and I've got my little coffee cup which is already um, cut and backed and prepared so that can be go on to the layout um, there um, I've been using a number of different things um, with this collection so um, just uh, like random items items from my stash um, so I've just pulled out a few of them um, including the doily there that I've just put down um, and the craft tag that's to the left of my photo as well so just um, getting those um, in place um, and uh, now I'm going to arrange all of my fussy cut flowers um, around my photo and my cup. I have to be careful with the cup because it's backed in vellum so of course anything I stick behind it I can see. Um, but actually I was worried about, I was quite worried about that but um, actually it doesn't look bad at all. Um, it just kind of looks like shadowing on the, on the cup so um, I was worried it would show through a lot um, but actually it's, it's really fine. 
Um, okay, so you can see where I'm going with this. I've got all my flowers um, laid out. Um, I'm just uh, going through and getting those stuck down, stuck in place. Um, and uh, just making sure everything um, is stuck down. And then I can build up from there. Once I've got this kind of base down, um, I can then add more and more and more. But um, I just needed to get the bare bones of the layout in place um, to begin with. And that is what I have done with all those flowers. I didn't want to waste a single one. Uh, they were all so pretty. And I obviously spent some time fussy cutting them out. So of course, we wouldn't want to waste any of those. Um, and um, here I am with that craft tag. Um, I've just realized uh, that I'm about to stick it down, but I haven't actually tied anything through it yet. So I've just quickly gone in there and tied through some silver thread. Thread. Um, I'm just going to chop, uh, I'm going to actually tuck the ends because of the way I tied it, the ends were splayed. Um, so instead of um, leaving them poking up, I have tucked them behind the tag there so that they don't show. Um, they weren't dangling nicely, you see. So, <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just going to add in some more silver thread here. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit over on the right hand side um, and then a little bit um, over on the left as well. So, it gives me the, two, the areas where I'm going to build up my clusters really. So, still just doing that um, and arranging those. Uh, nothing was behaving itself today, the silver thread wasn't behaving at all. Um, <laughs> So um, just kind of going with it and hoping for the best. Um, and now I'm turning to my sticker sheet. So um, I really liked that big phrase there about um, coffee, but unfortunately it was just too big and just didn't go. Um, so I've used a half a plaque behind the photo to give a bit of green, um, like an impression of a green layer, because I've got really got no paper left to add any paper layers. Um, and then there was these banners on there that I had um, visions of using, you know, like a nice string. Um, but uh, in the end, I just tucked them in here and there in different places so that uh, they acted as extra pops of colour. Um, over on the right hand side to the right of the, um, the coffee cup itself, I've got the, another little coffee cup that says coffee is a hug. Um, I've just added some label stickers to the top of the photo that say blend, coffee first, mocha and yum. Um, and uh, just continuing to add bits and pieces here and there. So that sticker I've just added says, life happens, coffee helps. Um, and then I've got these lovely little um, corrugated hearts from Bella Boulevard. Um, and I've, I had a couple in craft, so I've just added those. Um, two hearts, one says us, and the other one says today. Um, so they're really cute. Um, now coming in with the Bella Boulevard um, Florence Alphabet stickers in black to add my title, which of course is going to be Time for Starbucks. Um, so um, I never knew this was weird, but um, I always pull the stickers off of the sticker sheets and stick them on my hand or my arm. Um, and that's just so that I have all the right letters and I don't get halfway through sticking my um, title down to find out that I'm like missing an E or something. Um, and I always do it, always, always have done this. Um, I do it for pretty much every single, um, layout I make um, and I never knew it was weird I thought everyone did it but somebody told me that no that's that's definitely strange um, so anyway but that's how it works for me so <laughs> I guess it's like sticking it on a ruler you know how some people will stick it on a ruler or a piece of paper to uh, put it in the right position um, I just put it on my hand so <laughs> um, okay so there's my title um, stuck in place um, I love the font um, it's a really fun, friendly font, very kid friendly as far as I'm concerned. So um, most of my photos are of kids, so that's good. Just coming in now with some of those fussy cut coffee cups that were from that background paper that I've mounted my background onto. Um, and uh, that was the, uh, the excess from the middle piece that I trimmed out of the middle. So I've just cut a load of uh, coffee cups out and just positioned those around the clusters, poking out of the flowers. Um, most of them are in pairs. Um, so yeah, they, they look, um, look lovely. Um, and then I thought I would come in with some Bramble Fox um, geotags. Now, normally geotags for me, I have various rules. I have make up rules for myself when um, I um, use certain icons on layouts. And geotags has a rule attached to it. And normally it has to be about uh, travel. You normally have to be on holiday uh, for these uh, geotags to be used. Um, however, I've broken my own rule um, because we haven't been on holiday for such a long time. Well, actually, we did get to go away in July, but uh, <laughs> um, and I did use some for those photos. Uh, but 
yeah we haven't been away for a while and we won't be going for a while by the looks of things so um so yeah i just thought you know what they're the right color i'm gonna poke them in um and uh hope, hope it works it kind of does um i'm good with it anyway so i've just put three of those in i love them all because they've got stars on so that's the big link um because obviously star books you know star uh so uh, that works for me um, I've just put in a couple of black and white gingham bows uh, that I had in my stash and I've also popped in uh, some tiny um, wood veneer hearts um, and um, and I'm now sticking down some sequins by Spiegel Mum Scraps. Uh, it's a really lovely uh, set of uh, sequins called Lovely Day um, and uh, I've had those in my stash for a while so it's good to use those up. Okay, so I'm pretty much done now. I just need to write my journaling um, underneath. Oh, I just decided I needed a few extra sequins um, in a couple of areas uh, to extend the, cluster, the giant cluster a little bit further. Um, almost to give the impression of splatters, I suppose, was my, was my aim. Um, and uh, yeah, that is me done, apart from my journaling, which I'm just going to um, hand right in. Uh, I've gone for a grey pen, I think, I think it's grey, it looks grey, um, I've gone for a grey pen just underneath my title. Um, yeah, and that is me done. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this layout, um, I've loved using this collection, I've really enjoyed all the layouts I've made, I drink a lot of coffee so this goes well for me, um, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed um, making these layouts, and this one as well um, is really good to, feels really good to use up a collection and finish all the scraps off. Uh, so don't forget you can get that over at the Lottie Loves Paper shop, restock's coming very soon. Uh, thank you very much for joining me, that was Nikki Rowland for Lottie Loves Paper.